It's money. Going to Pix Apollo. Uh, and doll. I'm gonna try talking to her again. Vote for Maliolus for a free. Oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia. And uh, I hope I'm not. There's a light in your eyes I've never seen. <laughs> Don't waste your breath. I know you're a horrible person. Oh, stop it. No, please what go was on. That? Some kind of joke. I take back what I said. Let's just forget that ever happened. No, no way out no. of here. Straight to business, huh? As a matter of fact, I do know. I'm happy to tell you so. Ha, it's hardly my fault if people misunderstand the terms of a deal. I mean, it does say, let the buyer beware right outside my tavern. All right. Wait, did we? So you stay away from my money. <laughs> I'm not going to take it, but I just want to see what happens. Today I'm celebrating Made it easiest 10,000 dinari I've ever made by selling a way out to a desperate fool. Of course, it's not. Uh, by Hemlock still accounts. Style teacher insulting my hair. And since it didn't break the golden rule, I may have to try it again sometime. I'm now on up another thousand. Finally, I have something to spend it on. Running for magistrate, and, and he's promised that a sufficient tribute, I'll be able to move into Sentius's villa once it's vacated. How will you achieve that? Ah, so from reading her diary, that's how we found Hansel, out. Unless you want me to slip some hemlock into your next drink, get out. <laughs> I'll do us all a favor and drink hemlock. <laughs> Not happy. All right, well, that sucks. But I do have a thousand now. So. <laughs> Get out to my way. <laughs> Maybe I can Skyrim my way into this. Jump backwards a few times. Maybe up and forward and then down. Crouch. Nope, maybe not. That's all right. Go this way. Is there anything inside here? Old chest. Some money. Nothing there. A lot of statues like that. Nothing. What does this say? Wait. Opus killed Scintilla. He's back here. He looks busy, apparently. Thank you. How much would you want to make me a bow? For the last time, greetings days, and salute, greetings. I'm, I'm George. It gladdens me you to see another why. foreigner in our midst. We must, and I must say, my sartorial friend, you've got leather boots in place of sandals, trousers with precise stitching, and I have traveled distant trade routes from the markets of Damascus to the farms of India, and never have I seen anyone dressed quite like you. A nation doesn't exist yet. I'm from beyond the edge of the known world. Never believe me. Is this a riddle, or perhaps you mean to say you feel like you are ahead of your time? I feel the same way. Another reason for us to stick together. We will have much time here to get to know one another. But for now, do you require assistance? I know you do not require clothing, so information perhaps? 
Uh, what's your story? Yeah, I think that's probably. My story? How kind of you to ask? I am a tailor and I run the humble shop in the fall. You I set up a tailor. With all the turmoil and terror of the golden rule and so few customers, why bother setting shop at all? More or less. I tell you, it is precisely <laughs> because of the golden rule that I wish to remind my friends of the importance of looking one's best. Ah. Oh, suppose so. And then if we all end up as golden statues for future generations to marvel at, I don't know about you, but I would like... <laughs> a good question. A very good question indeed. And... I don't remember. Hmm. I remember I had just been to Rome to sell an extraordinary selection of wares, and dr I rented a prestigious villa by the Tiber, invited over, and we began making our way through some of the most exquisite wine money could buy. Qua now, I have had visions and awoken in strange places before. I have even found myself naked in the desert sands more than once, but Sir. none of that compares to this. This time, I remember people screaming, then falling into a void as empty as time before creation, gasping for air, and then nothing. When I regained my faculties, I was lying naked One second, by John, the banks I'm just gonna of the test Tiber. Gods know how many miles from my villa. So you floated down the Tib Tiber. Indeed. I'm lucky I was carrying a little extra weight. <laughs> I believe it kept me afloat. In any case, it seems I'd been rescued and resuscitated by a benevolent stranger. I went to find firewood for his campfire, stumbled across a cave, and discovered that trapdoor temple. And here I am. Huh. Anything you like. You know a way out of here? Not so loud. What are you playing? Have you not been told about the last... Oh. Then I suppose this duty falls to me. Why don't you tell me? Of course, the first question any of us asks when we first arrive is how and scaling the chasm wall is out of the question, for it is simply too steep. But as they say, if the wind fails, use the oars. And here the second option is to leave the way we came in, through the shaft above the bathhouse. See, the shaft is quite high, but if one gathered up enough wood, one could make a series of ladders and climb one's way out. Hasn't anyone done that yet? We have. I am getting to that. Oh. There was an attempt made by resourceful fellows who lived here some years ago. They even decided to keep records of their escape attempt for posterity. Unfortunately, as soon as they began to carry the first ladder down the hallway, they heard a godlike voice shake the entire city. And that, tragically, is where their tail ends. So it seems that to merely attempt escape is to invite the wrath of whichever god oversees this place. And so I say, it is best to not... Ah, I see. Ah, yes. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. As a Greek, this is nothing new to me. It is how our god... Have you not heard the tale of the god Hades? He was the first to learn this dreadful lesson when he abducted Persephone and imprisoned her in the underworld. When Demeter, the mother of Persephone, learned of this, she did not punish Hades, the guilty one. Innocent people died by the tens of thousands. So yes, we know this rule. This has always been the... If we are to survive, I say we must each keep the simple wisdom of Thales of Miletus, first of the seven sages of Greece, who said, avoid doing what you would blame others for. Simple enough. It does, doesn't it? But it is not enough for us to do this alone. For even if 99% of us adopt this principle, that will never be enough. Sadly, no matter how well we protect ourselves, the life's work of many good people can be undone in the blink of an eye. Oof, I've seen it happen. Ah, the voice of experience. <laughs> I am sorry for your love, but on a lighter note, I will say one thing for the golden rule. For all their grim and haunting poses, these golden statues do make magnificent models for my clothes. <laughs> Who are you going to vote for? It's quite the dilemma. But after some reflection, I'm li I do not enjoy the thought of another visit from Domitian. 
Nothing comes to my. Any idea who's threatening Virgil? This is troubling, is it not? I am afraid I have no idea. It is ridiculous though. Virgil is a fan. But my young friend Fabia confided in me that she saw someone leaving graffiti on his shop front last night. Perhaps you should ask her about it. Fabia? Okay. I hope that our paths cross again soon. Seems nice. Wait, collection of the dies? Got money? Honestly, if I can break the golden rule, I'd rather just steal that thing and then run. Rather than... Oh, shoot. Sinner. Whatever's in that great temple up there on the bluff, I bet it's worth a fortune. Seat on the Senate. Priestess. Salve straight. I don't, I'm afraid. But I did overhear Fabia telling Georgius she she was headed to the baths not long. Very well. Bob, oh wait, that's the girl up there. It ends up dying. Oh boy, let me save real quick. Help! You have to do something. A man arrived in the bath. You have to do something. Are you serious? Are you going to help or not? Thank you. I have to hide. Find me in this empty shrine when it's over. How do I tell her to not go to them? Do not go in. Oh. <laughs> do not go in there. What? Why? <laughs> I was going to say. Just trust me. Uh, all right. Um, fine. Come and find me in my bakery instead. Please be careful. Oh, thank God. Finally. Save Fabia's life. Jesus. Shrine may collapse. Well, now I'm nervous. Oh my god, that's horrible. It's gonna collapse any second. Wait, so where'd she go? She said, come find me in my bakery. Don't have a map or anything. Uh, hello, hello. Go. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, he put the clothing on him. Uh, Stranger. Name's Rufius. What's your story? Can't talk long. Got to stay. Families from Solution and Tibris. Babylon province. Babylon. But I've been roaming a long time now. Even joined the legions. I am the clouds. How'd you end Same up here? Everyone. Going down the river. Why are you still wearing your legionary because armor? In grave danger. Why don't you, you have a weapon? Mm, magistrate made me toss it. If you were dealing with what I am. You're suffering Nobody from. supposed to know about that. Did Lucretia tell you? <laughs> I figured it uh, out on my own. Look, I haven't been at my best lately. All my joints ache constantly, and, and I get stirred up by things that shouldn't bother me. And, and then there's the statues and my doubt. You want to help me? Do what Lucretia hasn't been able to do. Find something that helps him. Doors are locked there. Oh, this is her bakery. Shh, I'm hiding. Did you stop him? Not yet. 
Oh no. I'm gonna try to stop him, but let's. I don't know how how well it's gonna go. Cause I don't have a weapon. I feel like we might need a weapon to stop him, or at least convince him. Stop, right? Yes, I saw him worshiping in a small, uh, round shrine just inside the city's second building on your Thank left. Thank you for your service to the Empire. I'll let you live for now, but. Oh boy. Whatever's in that great temple up there on the bluff. Oh, shh, I'm hiding. Oh, shit. Wait, do I have to run and go tell? Oh, he's gonna go into that. Curse you, cultist. Nice. Nice. That's awesome. So since we saved her, we were able to have him walk into that. And it worked out. Holy crap, that's awesome. We have 17 arrows now. He has been dealt with. The man has been dealt with. Wait, I haven't talked to this person yet, so I'm going to talk to them. A new face. Arve, and may Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the... Your story. Oh my. I take it people are quite... I suppose it's quite charming <laughs> in its own way. Usually, however, you wouldn't simply march up to a Vestal Priestess and without due formality or courtesy ask... <laughs> Sorry, what should I have done? The proper approach would be to arrange an introduction through a mutual acquaintance in high office. By w and then you would find a way to satisfy your curiosity. But to be honest, I've often thought what an unnecessarily formal way to communicate that is. So, let's do it your way. You just keep being yourself and ask whatever you like. It'll be a refreshing change. Nice. How'd you end up in here? No, I'm not entirely sure. But what about you? How did you... A woman named Karen dragged me out of a river unconscious and sent me in Karen, here. you say. And nothing about that name seemed... odd to you. <laughs> Another name... It carries negative connotations where I'm from. I think I see where this is going. But not uncommon where I'm from. Older. I see. True. Hmm. I wonder if... No. What were you going to say? I apologize. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... Have you spoken with any of the others? About how they arrived here too? I really think you should. Go around and ask them what they remember and see if you notice any patterns. Well, they've all woken up, but. In a bit coy. I know, I know. I just don't want to see what happened to Livia happen to you, too. You may have already noticed the pattern. What is it? When people mention a river? Yes. I understand many of our friends were carried here by a river current. What else? Uh, they mentioned memory That's lapses. True. I know I wasn't entirely sure how I wound up here. What else? Some people mentioned an encounter with a stranger on the riverbank. Mm, yes, I also had such an ink. It's as I feared. I think I understand what poor Livia has been going through. 
You mentioned earlier you met a young woman in the forest named Karen. Yes? Yes. Right. I see. And was this Karen by any chance wearing a hood? No. Was, well, she was wearing a hoodie, I guess. Because I've seen her before. There's something I think you should see. I think you'd better follow me to the baths. But don't follow too closely. We can't have people thinking we're bathing together. <laughs> Wait, that why is this working out so perfectly now? They kept saying we kept hearing uh the many shall suffer for the sins of one. We kept hearing them say um the priestess. Every time we would go here Okay. Wonder what's gonna curious. What if she's like, I am the woman of this place you call. You were asking how I knew the young woman you met by the river was wearing a hood. Here, look down at the bottom of the baths. It's a little hard to make out in this light. If only we could see. Oh, what a marvelous Whoa. lamp. <laughs> Do you see it? Somebody waking up by a river in a forest to find a hooded figure with a coin. It's just as you described it. Only your pronunciation is a little off. The name you heard wasn't Karen. It was C H A R O N, as in Charon, the ferryman of the dead. Charon, who, in exchange for the right coin, helps the souls of the newly deceased cross the Styx, the river that separates the land of the living from the land of the dead. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never going to wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, but all I found was some loose change. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Sorry if I sounded cagey, it's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. I'm so sorry, my friend. I'm so, so sorry. I take it you know what this means. Wow. I'm afraid so. It's all starting to make sense. All these people whose last memory was running from the fires toward the river. It seems none of them escaped with their lives after all. Perhaps we should be grateful they don't remember their final moments. It also tells us that the golden rule is the work of Pluto, the god of the underworld, and why his epithet has always been father of riches. I know it's a lot to take in, and you look as if you have questions, so... I'll try to answer them. Damn, if I can. we just got so many things answered like that. That's crazy. That was my first thought, too. In the old stories, the underworld was where the souls of the deceased were taken. But it was also possible for the living to reach it without dying if they were particularly fearless. So I'm afraid I don't know. No, it's not a clear answer. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting you're not from here. If you were Roman, or even Greek, you would know these stories. Each of them is slightly different, whether the storyteller was Plato, Homer, Virgil, or Ovid. But they always involve the souls of the dead meeting a grim ferryman named Charon on the bank of a river. It was said that he'd helped the new arrival cross only if they could pay him with a coin, an obol. That's why it was once our custom to bury our loved ones with a coin in their mouths. Charon's obol, we called it. Of course, an obol was a kind of Greek coin because we inherited this knowledge from the Greeks. Why don't you all recognize Charon immediately? To be fair, the ferryman isn't exactly as the poets described. And he, she, they, they seem to appear to different people in different guises. 
You say you saw a young woman named Karen with a hood, and I once heard Kabash mention a stranger in a ram headdress named Kurti, and Rufius described meeting a stranger named Kumut Tabal wearing an eagle headdress. Ah, so they changed. The stranger took, they were always wearing a hood of some sort, and their name always began with a K sound. I suspect the only way you'll solve this riddle is if your paths cross again. Huh. And now that we know about the golden rule, we can also go down to that older man and tell him why well, there's so many people in the underworld. Good question. Let's see. In the stories, Charon would always require a coin as payment for passage across the river. But that never made any sense to me. What does an ancient immortal being need with coins? In our case, it seems Charon didn't take the coins we had. He or she merely checked we had one in our possession. So, maybe there's something special about the coins each of us had on us. And that might explain why we wound up here, but so many others did not. Huh. Are you trying to keep this from me? No. I mean, I had my suspicions, especially after Livia's ramblings, but I would never have figured it out without your help. I promise you. All the questions I had. Where we are, we have to figure out what to do about it. If we don't want to be cast into gold for eternity, we don't have much to go on, except the old stories. I remember four in particular about heroes in the underworld. Hercules, the demigod and son of Jupiter. Orpheus, a Thracian poet, Sisyphus, a king of Ephyra, and Aeneas, a Trojan hero. Hercules was able to leave the underworld because he cowed its god with his strength. Sisyphus and Orpheus both relied on their wits instead. They persuaded the goddess of the underworld, Proserpina, to help them escape. And finally, Aeneas was able to escape with the help of a spirit guide, who led him through a secret gate. So it seems you have two options to confront the god of the underworld head on or find a way to escape with the help of Proserpina or some other guide. Can we just escape the way we came in? It's a reasonable question, but the problem is this place is fairly well designed to keep us here. Hmm. There's no way to climb up the shaft. And even if you could build a ladder big enough, just trying it would break the golden rule. We know that, thanks to the writing. True. Notice you seem uncomfortable calling God of the Underworld by his name. What's All that? the Romans try to avoid saying it, and the reason is quite simple. He might hear us. You may refer to him as Pluto, if you wish, but you'll only be calling attention to yourself. Do so at your own peril. Okay. <clears throat> Everyone so blunt where you're from. <laughs> oh. That option would be the boldest, but also the only way to learn the truth about the golden rule and maybe even put an end to it. As I said, Hercules managed to overpower the god of the underworld, but he was a demigod. <laughs> Give my candor, but you are no Hercules. True. I may have a few tricks up my sleeve. Admit, you do seem different to anyone I've ever met. And even that lamp of yours looks like something Prometheus might have stolen from the gods. So, if you want to confront him, I'll help you as much as I can. Who knows? Perhaps your name will be uttered in the same sentence as Hercules one. But first, <laughs> you'd need an audience with you-know-who. And for that, you'll need to enter... The problem is, the door has been sealed shut for as long as I've lived here, and there doesn't even seem to be... I suspect the answer lies in the desecrated obelisk in front of it. I'm not sure if you noticed, but there are four plaques missing from its base. It looks as though somebody, or a series of somebodies, forcibly removed them, and in doing so, dishonored and angered our divine keeper. If you could recover and replace all four of those missing plaques, I imagine he might be willing to receive an audience again. It's the towering stone monument with four sides and a pyramid-shaped head that stands before the great temple. 
a dedication to the god of this place. You'll find them all over Rome. But of course they were looted from Egypt many years ago. It seems one of them made its way here too, although how is a mystery. However, this one is unusual in that each of the four sides is decorated in a different style. Roman, Greek, that means you'll need to recover four different plaques. Huh. Oh my god. Jeez. Good question. To answer that, it would have happened there's a there's a cult in Rome that often argued there is a they've been known to start fires as well as deface. If I were you, <laughs> I'd go look. You are not bad. Hey doing? Of course, they've all been die here Roman. Last year, so finding I was about to say she kind of uh, but I got a closer look. Never mind. They have a secret shrine somewhere in the city. I know there's a lot of talking in this game. I don't know. But perhaps you should begin your search. But it's good so far. Greek I've Keller, been really Georges. liking it. His store is in the forum. Okay. Find a lot of information. Our Egyptian resident will be able to tell us. But I did hear Aurelia is peddling rumors about him at the tavern. So perhaps you could talk to her. I'm afraid you're on your own with that one. But perhaps more about escaping with the help of as i mentioned both As Orpheus and Serpina. Sisyphus were said to have persuaded Proserpina to help them escape Aeneas was guide the problem is those are the stories of a poet a self-aggrandizing king and a brawler about their own heroic deed first Proserpina what we do know about her is well it's a grim tale it's said the god of the underworld abducted and dragged her here against her will. So just Forcing if anybody was marriage. planning on playing this, we're at a point where we know a lot of information already. I mean, there's still a whole lot more, I'm sure, that we need to go through. But just to let you know. Um, so yeah, and I'm only two and a half hours in, really. So... If the stories are true, then the problem is, how do we communicate with her without being noticed by our <laughs> I know captain? very little. Very interesting. Just to keep it at very basics, we woke up at a river. Uh, some lady woke us up. We went to look for a person, and then we got dropped in here. And that's basically as far as we got. Truly? And you're only bringing this up now? Then again, I suppose you were worried I'd think you were as mad as Navia. Can you- Can you tell me more? Is that the same voice? What thing does it say? Fascinating. Perhaps Statues do talk to spirit. me. Or perhaps... Hmm. Perhaps you're hearing the voice of Proserpina herself. So does this take if place in- has indeed been so... abducted, it would make sense for her to speak in cryptic whispers to avoid detection. Tell me. Has she told you anything that might lead you to the way out? Basically, we're in this town where uh, it's like a Roman town, but there's people from Greek, there's Egyptians, uh, there's Romans, like all these people got knocked out and woke up here and they've all been living here, but I'm from current day. A lot of these people here are from Roman times. So oh, I see. Well, let me know yeah. if you hear anything that might be a thread through this labyrinth. Alright, I'm ready to get started. Right. I would suggest not discussing this with anyone. The best we can do for them is to let them remain oblivious for as long as possible. As for Livia, it seems she's been shouldering the weight of this terrible secret all this time. I'll have a chat with Livia first. Let's start looking for the Roman plaque, Greek plaque, Egyptian crack, 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 bleh, plaque. Start by listening for more whispers. In any case, time is of the essence. May Fortuna guide you. Although you may not need her with Proserpina on. Wow. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool.
we found out and also all these uh statues here they all uh look see they follow you they're people where they broke this thing called the golden rule essentially turning them into statues but the one kind of cool thing is technically we can break the golden rule and not so the golden rule is basically do uh do unto Salve, Dooley. Others. How are you doing today? Oh. I'm sad. Am I going to die? I don't think so, my friend. It's election day today. Perhaps our new magistrate will be kinder than Sentius and let you out. I hope so. Galerius, what happens when you die? You're not going to die anytime soon, Dooley. My mother told me when you die, a ferryman helps you cross a river and your spirit lives on in the underworld. Is that true? Well, yes, but... Is it true that if you were good, you get to go to Elysium, but if you were bad, you get punished forever and ever in Tartarus? Something like that, but... What if I die and go to Tartarus because they say I've been bad? I'm not going to let that happen to you, Dooley. I promise. Thank you, Galerius. Thank you. Now, I have more work to do, but I'll visit you again soon, all right? All right, Galerius. See you then. Hmm. Wait, there's something back here. An orgy with four girls here and disappointed all of them equally. <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> Theo, Pelias, had an orgy with four girls here and disappointed all of them equally. Remember, they're watching. These guys. So, are you watching? Oh, these are toilets. Designed for the use with a sponge on a stick. Oh, sponge on a stick. This is what they pick up the sponge on a stick. <laughs> That's what they use for toilet paper. Why did we pick that up? <laughs> Best to put this back immediately. Dude, I haven't even like, I've only been on the right side of this, this island so far. I mean, there's still like all these areas too, which is pretty cool. Still haven't found out. Um, who is the person we needed to talk to? Divine intervention. Heal the resin. Figure out how to make Malice drop out of the election. Meet Malleus. Figure out how to stop Virgil's harassment. Figure out who's threat. Ask Fabia who's threatening Virgil. Oh yeah, Wait, let's do that real quick. Cause she says she might have saw it. I I bet you it's this guy. Oh. You there. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I couldn't help but know. No idea how you managed to get your hands on it, especially in the light of our dear old magistrate. And before you ask, no, I wouldn't dream of trying to buy it from you. I have no use for a wooden bow myself. Go on. Tell me, do you have any idea how people here end up as gold? Come to life and fire golden arrows at them. And here I was thinking I was the only one to figure it out. Supposedly, one or two of those arrows is enough to turn a full-grown man. Now, of course, that is a travesty. A terrible, horrible way. I can't help but think of a tale told by that Greek fella, Aesop. 
the goose that laid the golden egg. Use your imagination. Golden animals, insects, trees and plants. The Midas touch, and even if we were to split all those riches between the two of us, half... I think the golden goose is meant to be a cautionary tale. Look, I might have skimmed over that one, but don't be so pedantic. Oh, I'm not suggesting we use such a bow on people. There's no Excellent. So the first question is, how do we get our... Now, I have a plan. But first, tell me, are you... Uh, no. No problem. Allow Diana is our goddess of the hunt, the moon, and the underworld. Depending now that we had that conversation, now we have a lot more dialogue options. She with her a golden it seems with the with, with the people that we've arrow. already had. And it just so happens that there is a shrine of Diana in this very forum with a prominent statue of the goddess herself. And would you like to guess? The golden Precisely. bell. Precisely. I can't tell you how many hours I've spent in that temple staring at it, trying to figure out how to retrieve it without breaking, you know what? Huh. Oh, gods, no. If you tried that, we'd all be... Now then, you enter the shrine, extinguish the braziers, and under cover of darkness, swap out the fake for the original. It's not theft, exactly. It's more of a... But make no mistake, this is a dangerous path, and there's no... But in my experience, all the best adventures begin with a risky first... Now, you... So, are you in... If you don't like the action of the horror elements, feel free to decline. Huh. Tip. If you don't like action or horror elements, feel free to decline. Are you sure? Not. Said do it. Maybe I will do it. Wonderful. Now, this is a quality. And here we are. Now I've gone and unlocked the shrine of Diana for you, so as quick as it is, just at the end of the street on the left. May the enter the shrine of Diana. Oh boy. You, you had a tragic accident in that An shrine. Accident. So, it's over. I, I do have a question though. That... If I said yes, I'd be admitting to murder. Did you know it was going to collapse? I don't understand. Oh, I, <laughs> I should probably keep my big mouth shut then. I promise, nobody else will ever know what you did, but I know. That was really... Oh, speaking of which, welcome. I'm Fabia. Sorry, I was a bit friend. Uh, what's your story? There's not much to tell. I mostly just... How'd you I end up it here? it started about eight months ago. I was living in Rome with my family when I got sick. Terrible timing. My pa had just arranged a husband for me. A fisherman. I spent in the... But after a... I remember, I suppose. Anyway. Sorry to hear that. Uh, do you know any uh... mm, terrible shame yeah, let's that see. Is. maybe this will help late last night I was cleaning my oven when I heard some noises outside the forums usually dead quiet at that hour so I came out to see what was going on to be honest I thought maybe poor old Dooley had got out of his cell and was snoo so I put my head out <laughs> and saw someone in front of Virgil's shop I called out to them but they just turned and ran off without a word all I remember is they ran past a lit torch and the light glinted off something metallic armor I think so I suppose it could only be one of three people Horatius, Domitius, or Rufius. I hope that helps. Oh. Thanks. That does help. Oh. You are nice to each other. Why don't we have to worry about, will we? <laughs> Thanks. And I like your teeth. And I'm sure he'd like... He'll be just a... What? Good pick, my friend. Well, he... I'm just... All right. We go. Okay. How'd you do? All right, chat. Um, my eyes have been extremely just tired. Love springtime. Yes, sometimes. <laughs> For the last like hour. 
So I am going to save game and go to sleep because, or well, get ready to go to sleep soon. Wait, it might be this guy. It's probably this guy because he just walked past that. But I'll figure that out tomorrow. Um, that's going to be it for this for today. Uh, I'll be back soon so if you guys uh enjoy this playthrough whether you're on uh live on the live stream right now on twitch youtube or facebook i uh, like follow or subscribe uh any of those would be very helpful same thing if you're currently watching the vod uh but yeah that's uh that's it this game's cool so i'm definitely going to be continuing it i'll probably be playing it a lot tomorrow uh and then I'm also going to do a thing called Showcase Saturday where I'm going to play one to two hours of games that I'm interested in, but not sure how much I'll play. So I'm going to turn that into a new playlist on YouTube and put however, if I like the game, I'll play it for like two hours, possibly play it the next week uh, if it's good or if people want to see more of it or if i'm like oh this was cool to play for an hour then i'll play that one hour and move on to the next so it'll kind of be like my sub sunday type thing even though i don't have subscribers on twitch i do on youtube uh, and things like that so if that ever becomes like i become suggested games and things i'm down to try those out um so yeah that's a little something i was thinking of the last day or so so uh yeah that's about it uh i'm going to chill so you guys have a good remainder of your day or night bad thank you for stopping by peace out stay safe my eyes are so tired so i'm literally just gonna hit this button and then go to sleep so good night see you guys next time peace out and goodbye